Hey everyone, Flying Gucci here. Welcome back to Williams in Formula One Manager 2022. We are going to Mexico. And we have three races to go. This is race 20 of 22. After this one, you have two more races and then we uh, are going to go to the next season. Now, what I also saw in the calendar here. Now, of course, we get new uh, the testing period after this race. But then, um, on... The 21st of November, the car parts development is locked. And on the 31st of December, no, the 1st of January, research period ends. So we have until January to do research, I think. So I am very curious what we can do. Um, let's go to the race. We did everything we need to do. Also a very fun circuit, Mexico. A very fast one as well. Music is in the air this weekend, but and this is the stadium where people are going drive through. The roar of the it's very sunny. Well, it's Mexico, so that's not a big uh, surprise. We're going to do the same thing as we always do. We go to 20 laps. And we are going to use our old stuff, and we are doing this. Also with you, right? Yeah. And then we just need to do our setup. What do we need here? Let's go to the edges of the of the on the screen like this and then that one and then something like this. So we have this edge, this one and this one. Then we know at least which way we need to go. And we do the same with you. So let's put these ones over here. Here, yes, and then the tire camber goes there, and we leave the rest where it is, and then we see if that is uh, somewhere close. All right, I will go to the practice, and then I see you guys with the first feedback. The first stand is over. Let's see Piazzi set up, and we are not at the right spot, but we have the optimal braking. Ability. So we know where we need to go with our oversteer. It needs to go there. We know where we need to go with our straight speed all the way over there. The braking stability needs to get back to optimal. Our the traction? That's still not good. So let's go this way. Put the braking stability back. Then all the other things are fairly changed. The cornering maybe should go a bit further. Maybe over. Maybe we need full camber here actually. Can I put this back? I can. Let's give this a try. And you're gonna go to the medium. Then you're gonna finish your practice session on that tire. Now let's have a look at Poucher. 40%. Yeah. So we need to go put this somewhere over there. The straights need to go a lot slower. I think we need to do this here as well. I'm gonna try this. And then I see you after the next stint. And there we are, after the second stint, we now have 76%. Traction is still bad, so the traction needs to go to 1 and 9. Ooh. And the straight speed is not on the right spot yet, so... Could be like this. Braking stability needs to go back. How am I gonna do this with this slider? Okay. Well, everything that is great has changed a little bit. The good one has changed in the good portion. Good difference. So this could actually be 90 plus. Now let's do 10 laps. There's no not much time left. And we will call in Poucher here. Let's see what his setup is gonna be. See if he is close to uh, 
70 or 80 percent okay he's already at 91 percent so that is really good let's have a look what is not the right spot yet the oversteer is only at good hmm Well, I changed everything that is uh, close. The great ones are a bit, this is still optimal grade, so let's try this. Go on the mediums, and then I see you guys in practice too with L1. Okay, we have 95% with uh, PS3, so let's uh, let him into the pits. Oh, I forgot to cl click go into the pits, so there he goes. Let's have a look. Okay. Well, 95 is enough to uh, reach all the points, so I think I'm just going to keep it like this. Because it takes a lot of time to adjust something. Let's just uh, let, let, let him out on the hard tire. And he's just going to get the uh, track knowledge. There we go. And now we have to go and get Elbon in the pits. Please tell me Elbon is also close to a high number, 90 plus. Almost there. Come on. Elbon. Yeah, 98%. So we are going to um, let them drive. And I will just be back with the practice. Because there's nothing else to do. Alright. Practice 3 is over. We are going to the qualification. And let's see our points. We have 15 points on both. We just made it with Elbon. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we have 15 out of 15 with uh, Piastri. We are going to qualification. We are going to do what we always do. We're going to do one lap. If no cooldown lap. Do that twice. And then we will go... Oh, before I forget, I almost forgot to put my good engine on. That was close. And you need your better DRS. And you need your better gearbox. And the same counts for Elbon, of course. You are going to get your E7. Going to get the ERS5. And you are going to get Gearbox 9. And then we are going to go to Qualification. Let's see if we can do a clean lap. Radio check. Let's send them out. Radio check. Let's see if Just no one is going up. to drive in the no. way. Uh-oh. Maybe Hamilton. Hamilton, no. Okay. I think Hamilton drove in the way of Elbon. But not for uh, PS3. There we go. We are going to go again. Because there is no tire degradation yet in the game. They have to put that in. Otherwise no one will play this ever again. Yep. That is how strict I am. And... Okay, we might have no traffic, because Joe was just uh, not in the way, really. Yeah, I think we improved a little bit. Right. And then we go on our new set in the train at the end. Let's see if we are going to make it. It's a small, uh, small track, only 116 long. That is not a lot. And go. See if we can stay in the top 15 and the answer is... No, absolutely not. Makes sense, we are not making any more parts. And look how many players are gonna get penalties. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven drivers are going to get penalties in this race. So I wonder where we will start in the race. It's race day. Let's have a look. 16th and 18th. Okay, we did not get that much out of it. Uh, apparently, we can add a lot of fuel. Let's add five laps of fuel. 
I think that is more than enough to uh, push the engine on full for the, the whole race. Um, and let's take a look at the strategy. It's sunny, so we want to do a one stop. And I think we can do this on full aggressive mode. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's Piastri's, and then you will start on the hard tire, right? You know what? Let's let Piastri start on the hard tire. He is in front. Something like this. There we go. Then Elmond starts on the medium and then goes to the hard. Like this. Okay. We are ready to go. We can push like crazy in the first laps and we can also push the whole race. We don't have to look after our tires. We don't have to look, well, maybe on PS3 a little bit. We don't have to look on our engine because we added five laps of fuel. So, uh, yeah, we are ready to go and try to get points. Yeah, we need to use at least two different uh, dry compounds. We have beautiful blue skies overhead as the... This is it. Here we, there go we go with the Mexican Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Mexico. The first straight is very, very and very quick. The Astri had a horrible start. He is behind an Aston Martin. Like Aston Martin. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable, yes, three. This is a very slow part of the track. And, a new and we get some nice left, right, left, right combinations. And then another left, right, and then we go come into the stadium. This is the stadium. Very slow corner over here. And then a somewhat slow corner to the right, and then we are back on the straight. Very easy track, I would say. Uh, but it's very fast, so I really hope that Piastri can try to overtake this Aston Martin, because that is really holding us down. And there we go. We are in front of Vettel now. That is really good. We also have 71 laps to do, because it is a smaller track. And there's an overtake from Williams. Let's see if uh, Piastri can overtake Norris here. Yes, he's trying on the outside. That normally doesn't work. Let's uh, go to neutral and let's start using our battery more. But the DRS is enabled. It's not here yet, so... And Elbon is behind Piastri. At least we are in the mix. Is there only a DRS here or is there also one over here? That is my question I have. I think there's also one here, right? Well, let's figure that out. Yeah, there's also one over here. That goes uh, the McLaren. And there's a DRS zone over here. Come on, you should really overtake the Haas with your DRS. This is so stupid. Okay, I'm just going to go to speed 8. There's not, there's not a lot I can do about this. Elbon overtook PS3. Yikes. We are stuck behind Schumacher. That is not good for us. Costing us a lot of time. Elbon overtook uh, Schumacher. So that is really good for from Elbon. Let's see if we can uh, close the gap to Norris. He is 1.6 behind. PS3, you need to start overtaking as well. Uh, there is a crash. Who? No idea. Oh, and that's a crash. 
Leclerc crashed. Okay, Leclerc is now last, so uh, let's take a look at the crash. Watch this. There's Leclerc. Was he leading the race? Oh, a nasty crash there. Ooh, he almost just completed ruined his car there. I think he was leading, right? Yeah, he was leading the race. He he did a Leclerc. Because Leclerc is doing that more often. Good speed 16, actually. I just can't push the whole car the whole time, so. And there we go. Schumacher overtook us, but we are now back in the train with Norris, so maybe we can overtake Norris. If you want points in this race, we need to uh, not, not get hauled down by these cars. Is that a lock up? Alonso locked up. Okay, but he didn't lose that much terrain. Can we catch these two guys? Norris and um, Schumacher. Can we catch them? Yes, that is one. Elbot is now behind Norris. See if Elbon can overtake Norris as well. <coughs> yeah, there he goes. He's now in front. Let's see if he can stay in front by deploying his battery a bit. Check the DRS. And okay. no more battery. Okay, we took us. Magnuson crashed. We took a small uh, gap now from uh, Schumacher. And the first pit stops are there. Tsunoda is in the pits. Schumacher. Vettel is in the pits. That is very early. Maybe they are on a two stop. Now Leclerc is getting uh, behind us. Ready to overtake us. That is not good for us. There's nothing else I can do. So let's just go to speed 16. Yeah, still behind Norris. Then we overtake him again, and then he overtakes us again. And there's an overtake from Williams. I think Elbon is faster. Okay, his tires are uh, downgrading a little bit too quickly. So let's go to aggressive. And the same counts for you. We're going to lose a little bit of pace. More pit stops are coming in, so we are going to overtake all of these. We are now on the ninth position. Just for a, a while, I guess. I think Norris also made a pit stop. Uh, it happened. You okay. It yeah, happened. It happened. It actually happened. No, I, I did not click on the button. We cannot see it anymore. But both of my drivers crashed on each other. It's a crash. Oh, there it is. Take a look now. Watch this. There's Leclerc. <laughs> a definite collision there. That's very unfortunate. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> he crashed Leclerc! What the hell? What was that sight? And now everyone is going into the pits. Because uh, <laughs> they can make a free pit stop. <laughs> oh, is Piastri still driving? Yes, <laughs> he's still driving. <laughs> we cannot pit yet. <laughs> We cannot pit the car yet. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we have to pit because we need a new wing. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I guess we are going on the soft and then on the medium. We have a penalty, we have to do, we have to do a tire. <laughs> Wait, can I not change your wing? Or is it going automatically? And box, box. I guess so. What a disaster. So we have a 5 second penalty. So 
No, they can't do anything for five seconds, and then they can do the car. There we go. And then he goes. Does he have a new wing? Tell me he tell me he has a new front wing. Yeah, hurry up. Really? But I had no I had no chance to do this. What in the world? Safety car ending? I think we're gonna retire a car. Because we're not gonna get points. I mean, I can pit again. But show me then where I can do my, my wing. Why can I not change my wings? I have no front wing left. Really? Uh, PS3. Retire the car. Alright. Williams is out, guys. <laughs> that was a really tough day. I will be back after the race with the results. So we are in the middle of the race, and uh, Sainz and Leclerc are also both out, Bottas is out, and look who are leading the race. It's Alpine with Alonso and Ocon. They are actually they are actually leading this race. Can you believe it? So many things are happening on this track, so many crashes, so many pit stops are made at weird, weird moments as well. I'm just going to let the, this game run. I'm not going to pause the video anymore. Let's see how this race will end. <laughs> and we are going to get a Haas on 6th. And we are going to get a McLaren on ninth. So bye bye number 8. We cannot get 8th anymore. We need a wonder. Maybe that wonder will happen in the next Grand Prix. You don't know. But this is incredible. Joe is leading the race. Alonso is leading the race. Is Alonso going to win? No, Verstappen overtook Alonso and... Well, Alonso is trying to catch up with Verstappen. He's trying to overtake him. Yes, and Alonso is leading again. Oh my goodness. What a weird Grand Prix. Alonso is going to be my driver, hopefully. He is very good, but he's also very old. And I think I'm going to give him a one-year contract. Maybe Max Verstappen wants to join us next season. You never know, right? Okay, Verstappen is now leading. And now Zhou is leading again. A couple more laps to go. Actually, gonna Sounds like a single car. Russell crashed. Bye, Russell. Is Joe gonna win the Grand Prix? Is Alonso going to win the Grand Prix? They are in the last lap. <gasps> Alonso won. <laughs> Alonso won. <laughs> Wait, why is Williams why is Williams so happy? Okay, this game is stupid. Alonso won. 25 points. Fernando is now 17. <laughs> and we are lacking behind for P8. Yeah, that's uh, going to be really hard. Whoa, did you get so much experience still with your crash? Unbelievable. Uh Oh yeah, because we are in the top 15, we still did the, the the incentive. Well, what is the outgoing money? Oh yeah, because the finished position didn't come out. We have 5 million, that's good. Holy shit. We have, we have no chassis left. I mean, we have the C1. 
Should we just go with the C1? And we have no front wings left. Need to make four chassis and four front wings. We will have just enough in 11 days to uh, do this on a rushed. But then we have no uh, front wing. So I need to do an emergency, I think. Oh no! And what about the front wing? Let, let's do this one f normally first. Can I do this at the same time? Can I think? I think I can. Apparently we can do these at the same time. Right? Well, I hope so, otherwise we have an emergency. Uh, what is this? ATR period. So we have new uh, hours, so we can use this for our research. And a difficult race. Yeah. We know. And we are working on the car. So I think we are ready to go. Let's continue. No, we are not. We need to do uh, some stuff. We have, uh, we have done the hospitality area. Board confidence in three weeks, car development, we know we have a weak car, we are working on it for later. So now we have done all the upgrades here except for the last hospitality area upgrade. That is costing us 7 million. Let's keep the money for now. We are still doing the wind tunnel and the team up. Race simulator is maxed out, let's just keep it like this. Um, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, we can, I think, do a new project, right? No, we don't. We have two projects running. Yeah, these are, these are, these are simultaneously, so we need to wait for these things to complete in 22 days, and then we can do another research project. Right, let's continue. Email. I have heard that Gatan Diego has low morale, which will make it difficult to keep them when their contract runs out. The team underperforming a race is the most common cause, but we are not underperforming, so you suck. And also David Weather has low morale. Well, you suck as well then. And you suck as well. And Albon is having low morale. <laughs> but I can't do anything about it. Suspension is on low stock. Make another suspension as well then. Oh yeah, let's make one more. There we go. Gearbox poor condition. We know that is. Uh, we are going to change this uh, very soon. The front wings are done. The suspension is done and we are still working on these chassis. And scouting is done. Okay, we are going to scout a couple more race engineers. This one is having a long contract left. This one, not that much, but... So we will go to the stuff here. Then scout race engineers. People are not interested. Not interested. Let's scout you. Yeah, 
and this one. There we go. Alrighty then. Let's continue. We have two more days to go. And there's our team up. Have a look at the team up. Oh, that's uh, over here. The team up is now maximum level, so we get more experience gain for our stuff. And our race simulator is done. Scouting department is not really needed, I think. But the only thing we can do is these things, and then we can do more of these. But they are super expensive. This is costing 10 million. Suspension is 7.5. This one is 6.5. 75. I could do the suspension simulator actually. You know what? Let's do it. Not costing too much. And that will really help with, uh, I think, also with designing. Okay. Uh, we have a missing car build. I know. We have no sh new chassis, Dutchie. Where is it? Well, it's over here. And the chief, we have no front wing. Well, that's over here. If they break down the chassis, we cannot continue the race weekend. So I really hope they are uh, going to be a bit mild on it. We only have uh, one spare rear wing as well. And one s spare side pod. Not that these things are getting damaged that quickly. But we should definitely build one of these as well. So let's do this. One extra side pod. And no underfloor, no suspension, and one rear wing. There we go. Then we have two spare units of everything. Performance targets for the next race. We can reach Q2, no. Finish position, fastest lap, no. Qualifying position streak, no. Uh, Piastri is having a point. You need more smoothness. Is he always losing it or what is happening? I thought that was number was way higher. And you have a point as well. That needs to go to reactions. Do you guys have points? Yes. Get on the suspension. You on airflow sensitivity. You guys have no points? No. Alright. That is all done. Some more emails, race preparation, and then we can go to the weekend, I think. Let's uh, put the bad engine on. For the practice. Or can we use this engine for our, the last two races? You know what, let's not take any risk. All the engines for um, this car are broken. So we are going to run the last two races with a broken engine. I'm not going to spend more money. I think we can keep this ERS. ERSs take a long time. Maybe not this one. And the gearbox. This one. Yeah, the gearbox is completely broken thanks to the crash. No, I'm not going to make a new one. You just have a bad car for the last two races. It's your own fault. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter, right? We are focusing for next year. Yes. Okay, I think we are ready to go. And then I will end this episode here. And then I see you guys in the four last race weekend in Brazil. Thanks for watching. And bye bye.